Hello, today we're going to talk about how to write a build script with Saki. So Saki is a build automation tool that uses PowerShell to run steps in a dependent order. There's a lot of confusion on what the name of this actually is, but I'm assured that the correct pronunciation is Saki, like the Japanese wine. Think like you're pronouncing pseudo, where the PS is just sounds like an S. So first things first, here on the GitHub page, and we're going to go and look at all the ways we can download this. It's a, got a new Git package, it's on the PowerShell gallery, and it's also a chocolatey install. So go ahead and download this, save it onto your desktop, and then we can move on to step two. Okay, so I've downloaded Saki, and I've opened up the examples folder in Visual Studio Code, and we're going to run through a few of these while we're here. So first of all, let's look at default.ps1. And it's just doing a couple of things here. It's got a couple of properties that are set, namely some messages. And then there's a default task on line seven. And every Saki script uses the default task as kind of a, a start task. It's the first task that's gonna run and it will call the rest of the tasks. And you see there's a flag on there. It says depends on test. Now test is another task just down below that depends on compile and clean. The task below that is compile and so on and so forth. When we open up our terminal here, I'm already in the right folder. And if I try to run this task on its own, I'm going to get a lot of red. These are not designed to be run as regular PowerShell scripts. Instead, we're going to do this by running invoke Saki. And you see the first thing it did was it executed our clean step and then our compile step, and then our test step. Now, if we wanted to look at these tasks individually and what they depend on, we can run a get Saki script tasks on the same file, and we get a list of each task and what it's dependent on, and a description of the task if it's there. Now, the best way I've found to figure out what can be done with Saki is just to play around with the examples. So let's take a look at another one. Okay, so this is also in our examples folder. It's going to run two tasks in parallel. And you see there are a total of four tasks here. There's the default task, which we need regardless of what else we're doing. And then there's two parallel tasks, parallel task one and two. And then the last task, it says parallel nested one and nested two. Now this is just going to iterate over each of the previous tasks and then start it as a PowerShell job, and then both of these will have run in parallel. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and get the uh, Saki tasks for this one. And we see it's just about what I've said. There's a default task, which is dependent on the parallel nested task. And then it doesn't list that the parallel tasks one and two are in the nested task, but that's how it is set up. So let's go ahead and run this. All right, awesome. We see our task one and two of both run, and the total build time was a little over two and a half seconds. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.